Hi, it's Nathan Laney here from Urban Boxing Studios. Today we are going to go through head movement. We're going to start with static head movement. Then we're going to incorporate your feet and some footwork. And we're going to look at slips. And we're also going to look at rolls or bobs and weaves, depending on the terminology that you choose to use. Today, the first thing that we're going to look at is slips. So to start with, this, is, this video is for beginners. So we're going to start quickly, recap on our, on our garden stance. Feet shoulder width apart, way up to the balls of our feet. We should be able to roll a tennis ball through the centre of our feet. We want our elbows tucked in nice and tight. Rear hand in line with our cheekbone. Lead hand just in front of our nose. Should be able to see over the top of it. Shouldn't be blocking our vision. Okay, now, people think that when you slip, all the work is done by your back. Wrong. That's not right at all. And I'll tell you why it's not right. If I use my back to slip, it's going to be really difficult for me to shut, throw any kind of counter punch after my slip. I have to learn how to load my body correctly to be able to fire a counter. So we teach the slip being driven from ground up. So when we slip to our right, you're going to turn your lead foot over and you're going to show your opponent your shoulder. Taking your head off line, but also loading for our counter. So one more time, turn your lead foot, show your opponent your shoulder and you're loaded for the counter. On the opposite side, the same principles apply. We're going to turn our rear foot, rear hip over. This show our opponent our right shoulder, keeping our hand up nice and high. From here, we are loaded to fire our counter. So, and back in, and back in. Taking our head off line and firing that counter. Now we understand the mechanics of a slip. We're going to use our feet as well to make sure that as we slip, we can move our feet and position ourselves in the right position to be able to counter our opponent. So again, in our garden stance, nice solid garden stance. From here now, as I slip to the right and turn my foot over, I'm going to step my rear foot out. Okay, head off line, stepping my rear foot out. Okay. Now, from here, I'm going to rotate my hips and fire a counter. Doesn't matter which counter that you prefer, for, this, for the purposes of this drill, we're drilling the slip and the hands can come after. Okay, so as we slip, we're going to fire a counter. So we're bringing those feet into play, working to our right. Now, working to our left, we're going to work a deep slip, slip to our left. So from here, we're going to slip and step. Now this is going to bring us into closer range so that we can work inside, work those liver shots and head shots and closing the range on our opponent. So we're going to twist our rear foot and step our lead foot forward. Now we're loaded to work in close. Okay, again, one more time. Changing the distance by stepping into that slip. We've learned a static slip. We've learned to slip using our feet to close distance and to change angle. Okay, so now what happens when our opponent is punching us, moving forwards aggressively on the attack, or trying to hit us moving backwards? How do we um, coordinate our head movement and our footwork to make sure that we don't get hit. Okay, so back into our stance, a nice tight guard. From here, my front foot is going to take a little step. As my front foot takes a step, my shoulder is going to turn up line. When my right foot takes a step up, my left shoulder is going to slip off line. And we're going to coordinate our feet, working forwards, and working backwards. So our head is slipping offline as our feet are traveling forwards and backwards. Once we've got a feel for the, the rhythm and coordination of that drill, we're now going to add in 
a counter. So I want you to move five times. So go to go. One, two, three, four, five, jab. One, two, three, four, five, cross. And then we're going to work backwards. One, two, three, four, five, cross. One, two, three, four, five, jab. So we're now coordinating hands and feet, working forwards and backwards while slipping at the same time. Now we're going to look at rolls or bobs and weaves, however you want to call it, same thing, different terminology. This is going to be used when your opponent is trying to hook you, okay? So it's really important that again, we have a nice solid base, our feet are positioned correctly. If our feet are squared off, we're going to find it really difficult to, to roll under, under our opponent's shots. We're going to have no hip rotation, we're not going to have a solid base, and also if we hit, we're likely to, to get the hip and fall over. Okay, so it's important, first off, start with a solid base. Start with a nice solid guard. Now, when we roll, so I'm going to be um, fighting someone in orthodox, they're going to be hooking me with their lead hand, their left hand. My first movement is away from my opponent by rotating my rear foot and showing them my rear shoulder, just like we did when we slipped. From here, I'm going to dip my knees and I'm going to show them my left shoulder as I roll back under, okay? First movement away, sit, show them my left shoulder and back up. Now there's a reason why we teach this movement. Some people like to think, might think that this is a little bit slow because we've added a turn away from the target. For beginners in particular, I think this is the best way to teach the technique. The reasons for that are this. As you're moving away from your opponent's punch, you're taking the power and sting out of their punch. Secondly, you're also turning your head, and if you are hitting, you're likely to be grazed rather than a solid shot connected. Okay? This also gives you time and room to sit, see the shot, and roll back under. So I want to see those hips working, turn, sit, roll, and back into our uh, stance. When we roll back through and show, show our shoulder, again, the reason for this is we are now loaded to fire our own counter shot by rotating our hips. So last time, turn away from the shot, sit, turn into the shot, and then we're ready to fire a, a counter, whichever counter you want to choose to set. Really, that's a video for another day. Okay, the final part of our video today, we're now going to incorporate footwork into those rolls to change distance and change angle. Okay, so the first one I want you to work on is back into our nice solid stance. When we roll into our left, we are going to roll in, step in our lead foot with our rear foot following, and then out of range, rear foot first, lead foot follow. So again, in, rolling in, and rolling back out. You can then incorporate your hands into this drill. So as you roll in, you can work uppercuts and hooks, you can roll out, and set counters on the outside. So we're working on the inside and outside of range by rolling in and rolling out. We can also change angles with our footwork off the roll. So our opponent tries to hook us, we're going to roll under, stepping our lead foot out and angle changing. Or on the other side as we roll, stepping our rear foot out to the right, changing the angle for a counter. So to the left, roll and angle change, or to the right, roll and angle change. 